morning everybody, Fat Steve, Spice Heads. It's the 5th of July 2024. Morning after a landslide election victory for Labour, which we will mention. Um, I'm out this morning, I'm down so sure I've had to avoid town. There's just too many fakies all the way along um, Church Street and other places. So I'm here just having a look at the ambulance hub. Um, on, um, I think it's Waterloo, Waterloo Road. So this is the station where they all work from. It's not somewhere I've been before. Nice big main entrance there. It's got a defibrillator at the front. Charging for electric vehicles. So the wind's not too bad this morning. We've got the little paramedic vehicles here at the back and the staff car park and I'm guessing no entry quite pro ambulance hub main entrance I'm guessing this is the exit for them this is the way it would come out looking at this, this electronic gates we've just got a car coming out quite a big building quite modern not sure how long it's been there. Still got more of the ambulance station over here. It's quite a big site. So here we've got the range, home leisure and garden, a bit like b and I think. And um, there goes the wind. So over this side we've got Sir Matthew Fell House, um, which is the Territorial Army site. All visitors must report to reception. I don't think it's classed as an MOD site, so there shouldn't be an issue filming it, but it could be. Oh. If it is, you can film it from here, you just can't take a drone over stop and search by the look of it on a vehicle Bolton Street Bolton Street it is so there's a few more police vehicles arrived I nearly fell off the curb then I'm trying to keep my distance don't want to interfere into a male in the vehicle in the passenger side he's out one just over there as well, a plain clothes one. <laughs> so they're taking stuff out of the vehicle and putting it on the roof now. It's only a little bit windy this morning, it's not as bad as it has been. So he's giving it a decent search. We all need to see our thing. I thought it was Coley Brooks for a minute. 
<laughs> Whoa. Sold him well in it. Well in it. So the guy with a cap on backwards, he was the passenger. It's the other guy that was in the car that's now being cuffed and arrested. And I think it's a drink drive thing. Um, can't tell for sure. So we've got to come back. So we're probably waiting for the van now, that's a guess. I'm just in the doorway, out the wind. Got the cuffs. One of my men here on the right's got a gang band job. <laughs> I'm not going to moan. There's too many. You all right, man. So it's not just the cans, it's a really strong smell of cannabis out of the vehicle. I'm trying to get him, not his mate. Slower played. I wish I could fly right up to the sky, but I can't. You can in an aeroplane. So I'm trying to keep out of this wind. So all the vans here. Hopefully we'll get the money shot. So he goes in the band, we get the money shot. Our brave officers. So he's in the van as our brave officers, risking the life to protect the public. And another grand job. So he's in the van now. We're just chatting to uh, his passenger. The van's ready to go, I think. So everything's packing up here by the look of things at Bolton Street. So the fat lady's gonna sing. 
There's one, there's two, there's three away. Oh, two away and the van away. So for now it's Fat Steve, Spiceheads in Bolton Street, South Shore, in beautiful downtown Blackpool. Catch you all later. Yeah, so I'm coming down the top end of Church Street and uh, just passing caches and I don't want to I'll probably film down as far as the church but after that it's a bit too dangerous today there's just too many fake homeless all over Church Street this morning there must have been nearly 50 of them early this morning glaring at me and I didn't even have the camera out so uh, I've been down South Shore had a nice interaction with the police Arresting some guy in a car, seizing his vehicle for drinking drugs. So I'm just up this end now. Mid statue. Church looks closed. Tables are out at Quilligan's again. Winter Garden's box office is open, but uh, the rest of it isn't. So I'm going to leave it there. As I say, I don't want to film down Church Street today. I'll catch you all later. Fat Steve, just gone 11:30 a.m. See you later, boys and girls. Afternoon, everybody. Fat Steve, Spice Heads. I've not been home yet this morning. I've been down South Shore. Church Street was a bit too dodgy to film this morning there must have been 50 of them up and down in doorways um, I've just driven down quietly and had a look and I couldn't see any there's a couple of lads on some bongos um, so I might try and get them I've just had my 12 o'clock Costa the church bells have just rung Google and Alexa's just pinged so, I don't know if the guy, this guy's a real busker or whether he's just doing a little bit on the side. But we'll have a little look, we'll give him a minute. I've heard him all morning, he's doing okay. So at least he's doing something. At least he's not sat on, sorry, at least he's not sat on the scrounge. Now, as I said, when I came down before, there were none here, so I felt safe. This morning, early on, it was just too dangerous. I, I actually went round to avoid coming down Church Street because I could see that many of them dotted about. Um, so, I've done a little bit down South Shore today. Uh, this is my only little ride through the town centre. Got one to the left there that I've just managed to miss. The seagulls are attacking people again, like they do on Church Street every day. Lots and lots of people now getting food taken off them. We'll slowly past the fountains. Winter Gardens is still not open, still not, nobody in there. Got a few people out on the tables, the sunshine's just come out. It's still quite windy. So I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm just by this car. I'm gonna try and get this thing behind me. I don't know if I can get around or not. Oh, not quite. Let's try again. Oh, 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 I didn't know the move. <laughs> a few people were asking me and I weren't sure if this is what they were asking about these things and that I mentioned it the other day these weird balls so I'm trying to get lined up with this behind me whether I'll do it or not I don't know I'll just try spinning it round I'll have to put my glasses on So I don't know if it'll work because the sun's behind us. Your YouTube guy in here? Yeah, yeah, I'll just I've seen do... you all day. 
Well done. I'm just, thank you, man. I've just got somebody complimenting here, but I'm not filming. I'm trying to film myself with that behind me to do my Good outro luck. today. Good luck. But uh, I'm having a... I'll do if I come down, so... You all right? So hunting the spice heads, I like that. It's just this morning, there were that many people down there. I didn't dare drive down the street. No. I went down South Shore doing a little bit. Um, um, and I've just come up now and I just thought there's only one there. I seen you the other so, day, like you went one minute, you came back and just pulled the snuck up my head. I was like, yeah, it's, it's mental, man. Like, it, it's, there's more than enough houses for people that are at it, man. It's, most of these come in on the train, they nick on the train, they come for the weekend to beg, yeah. and they sleep in the doorways, so they're not genuine homeless. No. There's only normally one or two That's that are right. genuine here in Blackpool, and you must see it wherever you live. It's Aye, just, but it's not like this. It, oh, it, it's crazy. I get people saying, oh, you should go to London, and they've no idea how bad it actually is here. I don't, I don't, I've never seen a policeman. Um, I've never seen any somebody doing it. I got a good bus this morning. They were uh, stopped a car and found drugs and alcohol. Um, drunk driver got carted away. That'll be out tomorrow, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I've put a short up of it now. Um, but as I said, it's just a mad town. It's I like just... the way you, you're taking it, but... I like, tell it stuff. as it is. It's real. Yeah. I was an addict myself till I was 30, so I know what it's all about. Yeah. Um, I still drink, but I don't use any substance. What I don't even have aspirin. I just take the meds that I'm given. But um, most people appreciate the honesty. A few moan about the language, but it, that's the way it it's is. So that's, that's the way it is. I'll leave you to it. All right, all the best. Right, keep keep safe. Right, you Thank you very much. Please. Thank you. So there's another one that's free um, in and around Church Street. So have we got that there? Cut and action. Glasses off. Cut. <laughs> and action. So it's been a strange morning. I've done the ambulance station um, a little bit down... Um, Waterloo Road and around that area. Um, I filmed the interaction of the vehicle uh, being seized and the driver arrested for drinking drugs. Um, I'm heading home now. I'm not coming back out today. I've got another little thing to tag on the end of here, which is a little message about all the people, particularly on Facebook, although I've not been using it now, I still get loads of comments and one or two on YouTube that just don't understand or comprehend what I try to do. And this little thing that we'll play after this will tell you that in, instead of whinging and all the whinging snowflakes, idiots, left-wingers saying, oh, it's a shame for these poor homeless and this and that, and you bullying them, and, and, People need to understand what I do is to educate, um, not just about Blackpool, about everywhere across the country this is happening. It's particularly worse here because they come here because it's full of tourists in summer. They nick in on the train, they sit on the streets, they make a little encampment, look like they've slept there when they haven't, and it's outrageous. And I've got young grandchildren, I've got old grandchildren, I'm getting worried about my great-grandchildren now, my great-grandchild, and what sort of a life and world she's going to have to grow up in. And everything I do, I assure you, is not for fame, not for glory, not for money, I don't money size. Everything I do is to educate against this situation in Blackpool and across the country. So for now, everybody, it's Fat Steve in St John Square um, on Church Street in Blackpool. Where's that kid? There's a kid just walked behind me. I had to try not to get him. So for now, I'll catch you all later. We'll try and get this weird thing that's above me there. So see you later. Keep safe, everybody, and stay away from that substance.
Hi everybody, Fat Steve from Spiceheads. We have over 175,000 like-minded loyal followers across several pages. I feel the need to speak out on the constant barrage of snowflakes, whingers and do-gooders. To see a video pop up on the phone and just jump in with the most stupid negative comments without knowing who I am or anything about me or what I'm trying to do. Most of those featured on my pages are not genuinely homeless or war veterans, they're just out and out fake homeless junkie beggars that scam old people and genuine decent respectable charitable people out of around 50 to 150 pound a day to buy drugs with, which is on top of the fraudulent benefit claims of UC, ESA and PIP. I'm not just some idiot who runs a page for fun or to humiliate or bully anyone, I too was an addict, I've been there, got the t-shirt. Clean now for 34 years before changing my life around and trying to educate people not to take drugs or to commit antisocial behaviour. Forget the mentally ill drug users, alcoholics, prostitutes, fake homeless beggars, bullies and thugs that litter our street. They are billions, absolute billions in aid to help them. Whereas you only have my pages to help and educate you on how to protect yourselves and your families from the epidemic on our streets. Thank you, everybody. Bullshit, alert. Bullshit, alert.